Some warm today, but yeah, gonna work on the chopper again. So, so yeah, just gonna strip all this back back to bare metal. So, I'll start again. That's what I'm doing today. Getting this bike sorted. Got my rear struts like made. How he would have done a better job, but. Just got a light wire wheel stripper. I'm hoping to give it a little test hit on somewhere that doesn't really matter, which is kind of hard on the front fender. But anyway, gonna strip it off, see what happens. Let's grab the orbital, the fresh one. Smash the orbital all over it, make sure the rest of that prime is off and it's all smooth and it's ready for primer. So I'll go again. If you wonder what my paint table is, it's actually a VH Commodore with a bit of wood over it. Very so expensive paint table. <laughs> So, I always do my edges. Just doing it by hand. Um, 400, just dry. Sandpaper's pretty good these days. I'm only giving it, I'm not putting heaps of pressure on so you don't get any finger marks. Just trying to keep your hands nice and flat. Um, just go with the contour. Uh, sort of go in this direction, that direction, just sort of cross it up a bit. So while I'm doing this part, I'll go in sort of one way. And then I'll flip the guard around and I'll go the other way. So, just enough, just to scuff it up, you can see the colour difference, and just make it smooth. So, um, that's what I'm doing. I'm probably doing this wrong, but everything I read up on this paint, it's 2 to 1, 2 to 1 plus 10% reducer. So, it's my paint, that's my hardener. So two to one, and my thinners, your reducer. So on my cup, I've got my two to one mix. So I'm gonna have about 150 mil here just to make sure I've got enough to cover this front guard. So I'm gonna to go to my A with the paint, to the B with the hardener, and then on here it's got 10%. So I'll go reducer. So paint, hardener, plus 10%. And that's how I'm going to mix my paint. So I've already given it a really good stir. Um, and yeah, let's just pour it in. Make a mess. A. Put the lid back on it. Again, using the VH Commodore as a workbench. World's most expensive workbench. 
uh, my, my hardener, so just give it a little, you know, just a little what something something. Make sure nothing falls in. Don't know what happened then. Uh, yep. To me B, and then it's a hardener, and then just a little bit of reducer. And ten percent. Roll over on everything, but you get what I'm going at. Stir very well. And that's it. That's my paint. First thing I'm going to do is just put a bit of thinners in my gun, blow that through, clean that out, put a strainer in, like a cone strainer, drop my paint straight in the gun and we'll start painting. Second coat into the tank. Still dry. There's still dry spots in it. Um, you can see the repair came up pretty well. There's a couple little pin, pin holes and that in there, but um, from the filler, that's all right. I can live with that. It's just more memories that I painted it, so. Overall, it's going to be a very clean bike still, like it's going to polish up well, it's going to present well, so I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I, I'm super happy with that. So that's second coat. I'm going to do one more decent coat, and I'm hoping that will do it, unless it's dry or something. But I believe you get into this like, this sweet spot with painting, and you can start going the other way. So I just want to get it up to that nice third coat, nice and heavy, try and leave it um, a little bit glassy, and. And then it should polish up well and polish will correct any any slight dryness I think I might have but the front guard turned out really well and I just want it to turn out like that so it's dry and sitting over here so that actually took four coats and the last one I just done heavy but it's sort of easier with that because the way I had it sitting on that stand you can sort of blow on top, you're sort of spraying over top, but where this, you sort of, it's a really awkward um, spray. You sort of, you want to go like this, but then you want to follow the line of the tank. Don't know, I'm just going to try my best and see how we go. So that's where we're up to. And then um, through the week, I should try and have it running. So stay tuned. <laughs> 